Chapter 7. Carter was huffing and puffing by the time he reached the coffee shop. Jeb's truck was parked outside, leaving the wagon by the door. Door. He hurried into the shop. A rush of wind blew a cloud of dust in with him, and he noticed... But Carter noticed he was... Yes. He was focused on Jeb, who was sitting on the counter eating pie and chatting with a waitress. Yes. Baxter wagged his tail as Carter hurried over. Arf, arf, said Baxter. Uncle Jeb, Carter exclaimed. Boy, am I ever glad to see you. Uncle Jeb smiled at him. Hey, Carter, what's up, my boy? This wagon... Again, and Carter gestured towards the wagon for the gift. I need to pull it all the way, way to Mr. Miller's house tonight to deliver presents to the orphans. But it's too Abby and Hemet was helping at me, but he totally flipped out. Flipped out. Ow. Just then, the dust reached up. It surrounded him and his... Sudden, and suddenly, his friendly expression started to change. Carter didn't notice at first. Can you give me and the wagon a ride? He asked. He then peered at Jeb, wondering and why his uncle was frowning all of a sudden. Look, you little brat. Can you see I'm too, hap I'm too busy to help you? Can't you see? Jeb responded harshly. Carter was surprised and hurt by his uncle's response. He turned and left. The pups watched Carter pull, pull a wagon by himself. We need to find a way to reverse this wish, Noble said. Jingle nodded. We gotta find Mrs. Claus. She'll know what to do. The boy's leaving. Ben, Hope reminded them. We can't lose him until we fix this. Hope's totally right, Charity said. We can't let him get away. They started to follow Carter, but Jeb had just emerged from the coffee shop. Shop and spotted them. I never seen those puppies before, he said as eyes narrowed rode on hoarding them. Baxter saw the puppies too. I haven't seen you pups before either, he barked at them. Are you new in town? No. We're the Santa pups from the North Pole, Noble replied. I'm Noble, and these are my sisters, Hope, Jingle, and Charity. Baxter was impressed. <gasps> Is your father Santa Paws? Yes, Hope cried. Do you know our dad? All dogs know about Santa Paws, Baxter replied. In fact, Christmas is my favorite time of the year. And Pine Bill, it's everybody's favorite time of the year. Jeb kneeled down at the pups. He had a sly smile on his face. Aww. Well, look at what we have here, he said teasingly. He offered the pups a treat. Ugh! Noble gagged when he tried the doggy treat. What is that? You wouldn't have... Didn't have a kitty cane, would you? Jumped for him. What put a lid on all this barking? He snapped. I'm not barking, I'm talking! Noble replied. Oh dear! Jingle realized what was happening. He can't understand us. Charity nodded. Remember, Eddie talks that people can only understand the North Pole animals if they truly believe in Christmas. He must not believe. Don't worry, pups, Baxter said. Said. Said, my humans is trying to help you. Meanwhile, Jeb had noticed the 
crystal on Noble's collar. That's quite the little spark org you got there, Fido, he remarked. I'm going to have to consecrate this. You can't take that, Charity protested. We have to give it back to Eddie. But Jeb yanked the collar off Noble's neck. He didn't grab the pups. It seems it's going to be Christmas in the pound for you, mutts, he snarled. Baxter looked shocked. Master, what's going on here? At the North Pole, Santa and the elves were hard at work when the lights on. Suddenly flickered. Santa glanced up, surprised by the interruption of the energy in the great Christmas icicle. Eddie raced into the room. My crystal commerce missing, he exclaimed. I further found Ellis and Alpert were playing one of their, their pranks, but it's definitely gone. We would never play an elf prank with your magic crystal, Alpert said seriously. Santa was concerned. A missing crystal was an important matter. There. He glanced at the map. What's the only location on Eddie's crystal? He said. You got it, Santa. Ellis responded as the map zoomed in. There it is! Eli cried, pointing. Right in the heart of Pine Bell. Then Santa Paws came in working looking worried. Has anyone seen the pups? He asked, they're taking mischief to a whole new level today. We can't find them anywhere. Their mother's getting worried. Eddie shook his head. My professional guess from the station is that those rascals decided to borrow my crystal and then hitch a sway ride to Pine Bill with Mrs. Claus. Santa smiled. I'm sure Mrs. Claus has everything under control. Santa sighed, still looking worried. I hope they're okay, not causing any trouble down there.